Humans are geological agents for the first time in Earth history. We are shaping Earth's surface more than any other geological agent right now. And we need to understand how we are doing so and what the implications of that are to plan for the future. We are addressing actually a basic need of mankind to know where we are coming from. How was it possible to build a planet that could develop life and still can sustain life as we know it? Geoscience in general holds some of the key answers for our future. Resources, water, energy. You cannot get to any answer related to how our future will look like unless you work inside the Earth and at the surface of the Earth. ETH Zurich is publicly funded and as such it is dedicated to education and research. ETH translates into Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. It is a school of engineering and natural sciences. It is located in Zurich in the northern part of Switzerland that is German speaking. ETH reaches out to the people. An exhibition that is called Focus Terra focuses on actual problems of earth sciences in society. The Department of Earth Sciences is one of the larger departments of Earth Sciences in Europe. We have a very wide portfolio. We start in the core and its magnetic field. We go through the entire mantle to the crust, to the surface. We investigate the Earth and other planets. We are looking at planet formation. We are addressing the question, how did the Earth form? How did it evolve over time? And how did the Earth water come? So some researchers actually look at geophysical techniques, others do models, and my research focus is on meteorites. By analyzing these meteorites, we have a window back into the history of the solar system when the planet formed. We can, for example, use an optical microscope, or we also use cutting-edge analytical techniques, mostly mass spectrometry. One of the most important things about what we do is that we can provide information that is just not available from the historical record. I lead the uh, Surface Earth Geochemistry Group at ETH Zurich and uh, the main focus of our group is to try and understand the chemistry of the surface of the past Earth. A mass spectrometer separates a sample of an element into its component isotopes. We use the isotope ratios of different elements to trace movement of material around the surface Earth to date uh, aspects of the past surface Earth. We need to understand how climate changes to prepare for the future. We like to understand where we came from. We like to understand how did climate evolve over Earth history. In my group we study the dynamics of climate. That means we address questions like what controls the surface temperature distribution, what controls rainfall patterns on Earth, what controls the distribution of winds, why are there westerly winds and mid-latitudes. We have computers with which we can simulate the fluid dynamics of the atmosphere in great detail. Probably now is the time that we can discover the physical laws governing climate uh, that have eluded discovery for, for decades if not centuries. We have key questions that we don't really know. We don't know why we are so special, why the water has been here since when, why do we have a magnetic field uh, that protects us from the sun, and all these questions have a different answer on Mars. Seismology is able to tell us the interior structure of the planet, not only the Earth, but other planets. We are contributing part of an instrument to a NASA mission, so part of the seismometer. We contribute all the electronics of the various instruments flying, and the research that we will do is classical seismological research. We will look at the Mars quakes and what they tell us about the interior of the planet. Seismic waves remain the most important method to characterize and image the subsurface. We are in the process of building a unique lab for immersive wave propagation experimentation where we will be able to completely immerse a physical experiment in a numerical simulation in real time. The real-time computational system has a time budget of 170 microseconds in which we record the data, perform the numerical simulation and emit the waves back into the tank. My uh, research interests focus primarily on the dynamics of volcanic eruption as well as magma reservoirs that feed them. We have a large uh, project focusing on, on Mount St. Helens, a volcano that is famous for its large eruption in, in 1980. We aim to understand as much as possible about how the magmatic system works, how it evolved through time and what are the main mechanisms of silicic magma generation beneath the volcano. Understanding those volcanic systems provides the background knowledge for volcanic hazard assessments 
um, which is important for millions of people worldwide that are living next to volcanoes today. Groundwater flow. So if you look at this groundwater recharge right over here, uh, it picks up the heat from below and that heat actually gets discharged at hot springs. Teaching at ETH is a mixture of about 60% of frontal lectures and 40% of hands-on work. The hands-on work are exercises where you determine minerals but also classes where you program code to solve computational problems. We have the Alps just in front of us, it's our doorstep. We have a lot of excursions and field classes in the Alps and we go to other locations in Europe and also worldwide. The ETH has the financial and intellectual resources to make problem solving really creative. You could want to do a technique or work on a machine that maybe has never been used in your field before and guaranteed there will be an expert at the ETH that can help you. The PhD community here is really close-knit. It's almost like a family. For example, we have weekly meetings where we all get together and, and socialize. We also have a PhD retreat once a year. In the end, you have lots of different disciplines working together, physicists and chemists and mathematicians and modelers working together to solve the world's hardest problems. ETH educates the future stakeholders in science, technology, politics and administration. There is a long range of problems of really great importance. The storage of nuclear waste, geothermal power and geohazards. The goal of ETH in the Department of Earth Science is to solve these kind of problems.